Hey Luke here from catsandcarp.com and I'm going to show you how to transport fish and meat on the airplane. Now, if I look pretty tired, it's because I just got home after traveling for 13 hours. I just flew from Alaska to Virginia and we had a couple layovers and you had to drive to the airport, yada yada yada. Anyways, it's been a long, long day. But I had a great trip in Alaska and I caught about 20 pounds of silver salmon and I filleted them out and froze the fillets and I wanted to get it home. So I grew up in Alaska, uh, spent many, many day, uh, times after the summer of catching loads of salmon. I went down to college. We'd take all the leftover salmon and ship it down. And, and uh, it's really easy to ship salmon and meat on a plane. If you go on a fishing trip, don't overthink it. You can just freeze it solid stick it in a little insulated cooler bag and shove it in your luggage surrounded by all your clothes and it'll be golden. Now I've done this dozens of times without any problems uh, just here in the States but I also did it on a trip to India. My folks were living in southern India and I flew 35 hours and uh, we packed the suitcase full of frozen beef and cheese and and meat and all the things they couldn't get American foods they couldn't get in India, we froze them and put them in the luggage and, and 35, 36 hours later landed in southern India and Bangalore and everything was still rock hard, frozen solid. Uh, it works really good, particularly because of the cargo hold and the planes, I don't believe they're uh, heated, so oh, a good chunk of the time in the air, that you know, it's, it's not a problem. But uh, at any rate, the trick is you just want to make sure that you don't use any wet ice. Um, the airlines won't let you let you do any wet ice. So um, you can use dry ice, you can use cold packs, you can just you know use none of that, whatever you want, just don't put anything that will melt and drip ooziness all over. Um, the other thing too is that you know you don't want to pack them in these little coolers or because you know that extra baggage fee is pretty hefty and a lot of times and the little styrofoam coolers will get busted up. And so, um, in this case, this is my luggage here. This is just a Sterilite bin. I got it Fred Meyers for like 20 bucks. And uh, I'm gonna tear it open and show you, show you what I've got. All right. So, as you can see here, I've got diapers and hoodies and whatever stuff. Packed around and just close. And here you go. This is a $14 cooler bag. It's one of these insulated bags. Look at that. Rock hard. Yeah, you can see all ice crystals and everything. As long as you've got ice crystals still in the bag, you're golden. You know, it's not, no problem. No problems at all. Um, and this, this you can go and you can put it back in the freezer and it, and it won't affect the taste at all. All right, but yeah, so that's 20 pounds of filleted salmon just in a $14 cooler bag shoved around a bunch of underwear and sweaters and everything and you're good to go. And that's, you can pack that and travel around the world with that and you'll be just fine. Just don't put ice in it and uh, you're good to go. No extra baggage fees. If you liked that video, don't forget to check out some of our other videos, including part one of our fishing trip to Alaska and a great father-son fishing trip to Lake Anna. And don't forget to hit subscribe. Thanks for watching.